Hi friends, today we are going to read PJ Masks and the Dinosaur. Connor, Greg, and Amaya are visiting the museum. Come on, Greg says. The museum's got a new dinosaur show with a big flying pterodactyl. Wow, Connor and Amaya say. The three friends rush inside. Amaya, Greg calls, hurry up. Where's Connor, Amaya asks. Just then she sees a Tyrannosaurus Rex lurching toward her. Roar, says the dinosaur. Ah, screams Amaya as she stumbles backward into a model Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. The model Tyrannosaurus Rex skull falls on Amaya. Connor steps out from behind the cardboard dinosaur. Oops, he says, trying not to giggle. Connor, that wasn't funny, Amaya says. It was a little bit funny, Connor argues. Guys, Greg shouts, come quick. What's going on, Amaya asks. The pterodactyl was right there, Greg says, but somebody's taken it. Don't worry, Connor says. We'll get it back. PJ Masks, we're on our way. Into the night to save the day. Greg becomes Gecko. Amaya becomes Owlette. Connor becomes Catboy. Under the cover of night, the heroes go in search of the missing pterodactyl. Okay, Owlette, use your owl eyes, Catboy says. I will, Owlette says. Once you say you're sorry. Oh, you mean for scaring you in the museum, Catboy asks. All right, I'm sorry. Now let's go. Is that it, Owl asks, Owlette asks. That wasn't a very big sorry. Guys, Gecko says, noticing something in the sky. A robotic pterodactyl swoops down over them with a terrible screech. Mwah, ha, 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 Romeo laughs. Did I make you jump with my robot pterodactyl? I'm the best. Who else could steal a giant model dinosaur and make it fly? But you shouldn't have, Romeo, Gecko says. We'll stop you, Catboy calls. Just then a cat jumps out of the bushes and surprises Romeo. He loses control of his robot. Quick, before Romeo fixes the pterodactyl, Catboy says, let's take him by surprise. But first, say sorry for surprising me in the museum, Owlette says. I said I was sorry, Catboy says with a sigh. Fine, I'll just go catch Al I'll just go catch Romeo on my own, Owlette says, and flies away. Romeo gets control of his robot. With no time to waste, Catboy and Owlette spring into action at the same time. The two heroes crash in midair. Oof, they say, landing on the ground. You let Romeo escape, Owlette says. Owlette dives at Romeo. Whoa, he says, dropping the remote control. Gecko catches the remote control. How about a dino ride, gecko style? Let me down, Romeo yells from the bucking robot. Coming in for a landing, gecko says, making the robot roll. Romeo tumbles onto his lab. Catboy hangs on as gecko safely lands the robot. Nice work, PJ Masks, Catboy says, but not everyone is happy. Just because we beat Romeo, Owlette says, it doesn't make it all right that you scared me. She flies away more upset than ever. Wait, Owlette, please, Catboy says. He grabs the remote control from Gecko. Catboy, Gecko calls. Flying that thing isn't easy. I don't care. I have to catch up with Owlette and make up, Catboy says. By my cat's whiskers. Whoa! The robot flips upside down and Catboy drops the remote control. The remote control falls right into Romeo's hands. Now I'll get my pterodactyl back and catch Catboy too, he sneers. Mwahaha! From a distant rooftop, Owlette hears Catboy's yells. Help, he calls to Owlette. I took the pterodactyl to catch up with you to make sure we were still friends, but now Romeo is in control again. Of course we are still friends, she says. This is all my fault. I should have made up with you before. Time to be a hero. That's it, Romeo, Owlette calls. No one messes with my friend. 
She flies to Catboy's rescue. Grab on to me, she says to Catboy. Catboy hangs on to Owlette as she lifts him off the pterodactyl. Get him, she says, and Catboy gives the pterodactyl a mighty kick. Ah! Romeo yells at the as the pterodactyl flies right at him. He dives off the roof of his lab and lands in a pile of garbage. I think you dropped something, Romeo, Gecko calls as he grabs the remote control from the ground. What? Romeo says. Gecko makes the robot chase him. No, 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 get away! Romeo whines as he runs off into the distance. That's the last we'll see of Romeo for a while, Owlet says. Good job, team. Thanks, Owlet, Catboy says. The heroes learned an important lesson that night. Making up can be tough, but it's what friends do. PJ Masks will shout hooray, cause in the night we saved the day. The end.